All right, let's eat that uh, pork chop that's been in the fridge for five to six days that's defrosted from the dollar store. Bone in pork loin chop contains 18% water and seasoning. I'm not even going to season it. The seasoning's in it. Cracker Jacks, we're doing it. It's been defressed. I'm going to smell it. If it smells too terrible, I won't eat it. It doesn't smell like anything. It smells like bleach. It has no bad smell, but it has no it has no smell. It has no smell? Look at all that liquid in there. Should we put that in there too? A lot of liquid in there. Heck of a lot of liquid. No smell. Smells kind of like bleach. Kind of like bleach. Let's take a look at it in the main can. It's a very thin pork chop. Got a lot of flaps on it. This, is this slimy? Mildly slimy. Mildly. That's very discolored, isn't it? Very discolored. Now look. It says here that it contains up to 18% of a solution of water, salt, sodium phosphate, hydrolyzed corn protein, dried beef stock, soybean oil, spiced extractives, and extractives of onion. Okay. Let's put it in. Let's cook it, and then I'll go wash my hands so everyone will be okay with that. It's medium low right now as it's cooking in the pan. I, it smells like pork. Pork. It's porky. It's pork. Pork-ish. It's pork. That'd be a problem. All right, we're getting a lot of weird juices, colors. Let's take a gander there. You see how we're getting some uh, color weird juices there? It's, it's the kind of foam, foamy substance. That's never a good sign, you know. That's like the that's that's not good when you're making stock if you got scum. We already got some scum leaking out of this thing. Some white scum. It smells like porcaline, porcaline, pork and pork and chlorine. It's kind of oozing some white liquid. It's oozing white liquid. I'll just show you. What, I can't get the cam over there that way. We have to use this one. And then when I did that. See the white liquid right there that it's oozing? It's oozing like... I'm not scared. Let's flip it. There we go. Top. Smells porky. I can almost smell the salt wafting above it. Like a dirty pond. Like a dirty, salty pond. The stain on my pants is unrelated to what is happening here. Thank you very much. I think it's juice. It's unrelated. Unrelated. This is what we're this is what we're doing right now. Dollar store pork chop. It's got a beautiful uh, brown on there. A lot of browning. Let's get really into there and just take a look. Appears to be meat. It's got the granules and the rhythm and the structure of it. There's a bone right here. Very thin bone. And you can just take your chopsticks and it is tender. It is tender. It is very tender. So let's just go up for it. And yeah, werewolf, have a good night. God bless you. Let's just go for it. This piece is pretty fatty. A lot of fat. Okay. 
One more bite, and I've got an analysis on the way. I've got an analysis on the way. Here's my assessment. This honestly tastes like something you'd get in a TV dinner. This tastes like if you bought a, if you got a TV dinner that said it came with a pork chop, that's what it tastes like. There's something off about it. Not off as in it tastes like it's uh, turned meat. It does not. It tastes, it actually tastes okay. It tastes okay. It's like a hungry man pork chop. It tastes okay. I'm going to eat the whole thing just to prove it to you, but it tastes okay. It definitely tastes loaded up with lots of chemicals. It tastes like there's a lot of flavor additives that might be hiding the fact that this is uh, 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 bad meat. Processed to hell. Punk punctured with tons of uh, uh, MSG and all sorts of flavor enhancing drugs. Uh, maybe when they they were piglings as well. Piglings is the word. Let's eat the whole thing to prove it. Right. Oh, guaranteed dollars for a food. Body is not rejecting it. Body so far says, I will continue to eat it if you present it to me. What's my stomach saying? Stomach is saying, slow down, bud. Little thing of fat there. I'm going to give this rating. It's four-star rating based on the Roger Ebert system. I'm going to give it a two, a one point, uh, a one and a half stars out of four. One and a half. One and a half stars out of four. One and a half. Because I was able to eat it, but I, I'm worried now. My stomach is doing a thing where it's like, I think we got this under control. You ever listen to your body? You gotta listen to your body. You gotta listen to your body, and your body will tell you. Am I Thank you for listening. Hey, this is Abbabox. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe and do all the things you're supposed to do on YouTube to help little old me out. Know that I cherish that you found me, and please come check me out on twitch.tv slash where I do even weirder stuff. Thank you for watching.